Hey, this is Ruth Hartunian Alamba, otherwise known as Ravings and Cravings. I am on site here with Chef Mateo yes, yes. at Donatello's with a Twist. Got his business card right here. If you could smell what I was smelling right now, you would be hungry too. Yes, definitely. So welcome to Ravings and Cravings. Thank you. Well, let's get started with the good stuff. Tell people where you are, like at the address and phone number, and then we'll go from there. We are located on 266 Route 163 in Marville, Connecticut. Um, the hours of operations are Monday to Saturday, 11 to 8 o'clock. And uh, our phone number is 860 mm -hmm. And so, we you guys, like, so this is live and on site, so if you hear any banging or, I don't know if you can hear the frying, but yeah. there's a lot of cooking going on in the I kitchen. Did, yes, it is. We're getting ready for whatever class. Yeah, so what's on the menu today? Oh, yeah. what's not on the menu today? I know. I look, the menu is behind you, and so it's huge. So, what we do is we offer a variety of food, which is diverse. You know, it's uh, going to be Italian, Puerto Rican, and all American. So... For the everyday buffet, we serve rice and beans, white rice, yellow rice. We put um, carne frita, which is carne asada or pork chips. Mm -hmm. We do the pernil, which is pulled pork. We do the fried pork chip plantain, fried sweet plantain, pollo guisado, which is um, chicken stew, burger steak. Um, we do Jamaican jerk wings every day. That's what people ask me for. Jerk wings. Jerk wings. That, that's a big, big, big seller. Um, and the specials changes every day. So we do, yesterday we had a Italian raised children, boneless. Mm -hmm. Today we have the Aso Buco, that's a classic Italian dish. Mm -hmm. And we also have pork, uh, Aso Buco, because it's Friday, we have fish and chips for nine ninety five. Oh, nine ninety five. Uh, we make our own coleslaw, homemade, our own pot of sauce. So, fish and chips on Friday, which mm -hmm. is, we started doing it Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so Four everybody days. wants fish and chips. Yes. So now, we do fish and chips today. We have fried scallops, fisherman platter, clam fritters, uh, mm -hmm. fish savory. So, anything has to do with fish. Um, and then, that big menu here behind me. Yeah. That's what we have on hand every day, plus a special. All right, so you guys... Uh, I first met Chef Jamie yeah. three, yeah, or two years. three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Three, years ago. three years ago when I was writing a story for the local paper, the Chronicle, and at that time you were about a year old, you said, I think. Yeah. Was that it? We were just open up in 2021. 2021. Yeah. And you're still here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. three years later, which is yeah. which is awesome. But I'll tell you, the thing that caught my eye, as somebody who likes, like, to me, eating, eating is an adventure. If I'm at home by myself, I mean, I eat very sad food. You would you would be shocked to know what I might be eating. But when I when I go out to eat, I like to see I like variety. Yeah. And so like you have American food on your menu, you have Spanish food on your menu, you have Italian food on your yeah. menu. And I, I, I this is like a really random thing, but when I was growing up in Wisconsin as a little girl, my favorite cold cut sandwich was mortadella. Yes. He has mortadella on his menu. I'm like, are you kidding? Like, nobody has that. That, that is so hard to find nobody out. Nobody has it? The real mortadella, uh, <laughs> the, the mortadella they, they have now is with the cashew. That is it's wrong. A, it's a bologna. I know, it's supposed it to be like, it's supposed to be olives? Yes. Right? Yeah, Not yes. pistachio. Yeah, pistachio. Yeah. I see that, and it's so expensive too that <laughs> when I looked at it, I looked, when I went to this place, I forgot the name, and I say, can I have um, a mozzarella, a, a whole thing? And when I saw it, I said, this what is a is that? I said, this is, your, this is what you call mozzarella. No, no, this is not mozzarella. To me, I'm an old school, this is not mozzarella. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now with pizza, so it looks like bologna. I know, yeah. That's, I will do that. Yeah, yeah. So this is how to find a real mozzarella. I, I was happy. Uh, I go to this um, place, uh, it's called, uh, uh, it's called uh, Hero Island. It's a packing company, uh, this is called the wire company, packing company. Uh, I think it's called, I forgot the name, but they have it there, and the only place they have is in Haiti. You gotta find it somewhere. Yeah. You know? But you look at, you have 
other things, like if I'm looking at some other things on your menu, which is right behind us here, you have yucca fries, you have yucca fries, you have jalapeno poppers, you have all kinds of empanadas, you have porchetta, you have different grinders, you have, oh, you have, he has breakfast on the menu. You have low carb, for some of us who are watching our calorie, you have low carb menu, but if you really want dessert, he has, you have desserts on top. I have desserts along with the I have the uh, cheese cakes, the uh, big salad, flan, where I do have a chair. I think people will. Yeah, everybody loves that. So I do have a rice pudding, flan. We have the bread leche, which is the meal cake. I have, uh, uh, it's called the, um, because it's on the season right now, I have a pumpkin pie. We make it oh, like you're going to have pie. And, we, and then we have the um, uh, strawberry rhubarb. Goes the most is the flan, which is the people with yeah. the travel food. I love, I love Tris Leche, I'm a, I'm a fan. You also have, he also, uh, Jamie, Chef Jamie also has a kids' menu. So, like, nobody, you can bring the whole family here, and if everybody wants something different, not a problem. No, so we are outside, so most of the time I'm here. If you don't find you, what you want, mm -hmm. we can make it for you. Just tell them what you, what you want, how you want to make it. Wow. So we can make it for you. If we have the ingredients. So, what's the pounding in the kitchen? What is he doing? He's making the uh, mofongo right now. Oh, so that's mofongo in the making back there yeah, that you're listening uh, to? Yeah, it's a crunchy plantain, and we form it into a paste. That's a real delicious dish, a simple dish, mm -hmm. with a lot of fresh garlic. I can smell butter, it. And I cannot tell you the other. Nope, it's a secret. That's okay. Don't to tell make anybody. A, to make it nice and soft and crunchy, you have to, do, you have to make it fresh. So, some people, just make big batches, five, six, seven at a time. Sometimes you don't sell that in an hour or two. Oh, that's a waste. It's a waste because people still serve it, and that's the problem. Oh. It's not the other thing. So y it sounds like you are very careful as far as the quality of oh, the, the food. Oh, the quality, you yeah, have to be, like, they even tell me, oh, yeah, we make it, well, we have to make it fresh. This is why the Puerto no longer is fresh. Now, yes. It's not easy when you get three more bongos at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I know. That's so you have to, we have to enough the ball to make it four at a time. Okay. And then we can four, four, and four, and one time, and I have 15 more bongos. Oh, yeah. Month. So uh, people don't, they don't mind waiting because you know it's fresh. Yeah. So I have to make four or five at a time, get those five plates, bring it to the table, and five more. Yeah. I, Something that you have yeah. to make fresh right on the side. I, I would wait for fresh. Oh, no so problem. people, that's what we're getting a lot of customers because they said they just came from Puerto Rico and they, they ate in four, di four different restaurants. Uh -huh. And they said the best mofongo ever, she, he found it right here in Connecticut. Even really? though they just, they just came nah. from, just came from Puerto kidding? Rico. Are you kidding? Well, I am 100% Puerto Rican. Okay. So cool. I know what we like. Mm -hmm. you know? So it made me feel great when he said, I just came from Puerto Rico. From oh, my that's amazing. And I ate in four different Sweet. spots and the mofongo is one of the best. Mm -hmm. you know, Empanadas. There's a secret to it. You get empanadas everywhere. There's so skinny, greasy. There's nothing no in them. No flavor. That's my complaint. Our empanadas is full. Full. And people are happy with the flavor mm -hmm. and with the amount of meat that we do. So how long have you always been a chef kind of a person? Is yes, this I, in uh, your blood? It's in my blood. See, my <laughs> father used to do it for a living. Made empanadas homemade. Scratch, even the dough part. Even everything. the dough part. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Even though I didn't want to help him, I always <laughs> wanted to. I always wanted to play with my friends outside. He said, you, "I always said why he needed me now." Oh yeah. I I always said why he needed me every day after school mm -hmm. because it's not easy to make 150 empanadas right. and let them one them one hour or two and then making potato balls, making fresh juices. And see me and see that. You know. So and see, I have a uh, Italian potato ball, which is not potato, it's with rice ball, yeah. Italian style. So now I understand why you always needed me there after school to help out. It's mm -hmm. not easy to make this all day. It's not easy. Yeah. So I got that from him, and the other cooking from my mom. You know, the rice and beans, and my father always specialized in empanadas, potato balls. My mother was, 
part of these recipes that I have right now on the buffet table oh, okay. mm -hmm. is my mother weekend for nothing, just to let you know. Uh, for nothing, mm -hmm. and my mother sometimes has nothing for the rice, just plain rice, and she always came out with this sauce that I always love. Mm -hmm. It was vinegar, ketchup, peppers, bell peppers, and onions, and form a little, little nice sauce to wet the rice with. Oh, that that's good. the yeah. base I use. Just like mom. Best, that's the base I use in my prep stay in some of my dishes over here, which is great. Wow. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and it's just, it's amazing that I'm, I carry that. I will always remember how to do things. I'm making it better. I more than I, 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 I got a little bit. You're carrying on the tradition of your family. Yeah. Better. So, and I always wanted to be a chef, you know, once I was a little kid. Always mixing things together <laughs> and putting things together. But I never knew it was going to be, you know, that it took a long time for her to do her business because it wasn't easy. Yeah. I've been here for 32 years and now uh, four years after, you know, it's my dream kid. So I'm going to make sure my camera's running, but you're going to talk about what you dream about as far as your future, as far as what oh, you, my future. so the, the camera's right there my and future. I'm going to make sure it's yes. still running, all right? Yes, my dream is, which is, it's already done. Now my next step is to have, um, which is you don't see anymore. It's an international buffet, so we have Puerto Rican, Italian, all American food. You know, so and all you see Chinese buffets everywhere. You don't see a, a, like international buffet anymore. You know? And I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, I personally, I, I would be a fan of yeah. an international buffet. I mean, it's going to be an all Italian section, all Puerto Rican section, and all the American. You're going to call me when you open oh, that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's, yeah. it's just, it's going to get there, little by little. A little bit. You know, but we're almost there. And I got the regular customer, loyal customer that comes in every day I see new faces. I mean, that's a, that's a huge thing. Now you, you need, I'm good. sorry, I keep interrupting you. I'm so excited, okay. sorry. Yeah. Finish what you were saying. No, it's okay. Okay, I want you to talk about catering and about, uh, about that arm of your business because you have more than just the brick and mortar building, uh -huh. you have catering. So that is a big thing. Talk about that. The catering. Is what I wanted to do first. So when I got this little place, I started getting, you know, can you do catering? Yeah, I do catering. We started with 25 people, 50 people, now I'm up to 200 people. 200. Which is last week I did probably for Costco for 200. That's and that, amazing. that's like four times a year. So now I do um, weddings, quinceaneros, three sixteens, um, baby shower, celebration of life, baby shower. Like last week I had a party for 200 and another one for 100. Oh, wow. I had to go to the restaurant because I couldn't, you know. And I don't want to keep posting the restaurant on a Saturday. Yeah, because everybody wants restaurant. to come in yeah. here, right? So I just try to figure it out, see how I can get a bigger place. And, and from there we can do the buffet, sitting down if you want to, if you want a quick meal, grab it, go, grab it, grab it and sit down. You don't have yeah, to there wait. is space to sit in the restaurant. No, or if you want to wait, just order some food and you wait. While you're waiting, we have music playing. Mm -hmm. And we got an outside, which is, if people use the outside already. Yeah, oh, that's right. You know, outside. I'm glad you mentioned that. There's there's picnic tables outside, yeah. and I am not a fan of summer, so I'm glad that it's getting cooler. Uh, and that I will neither. sit out there. Yeah. I'm happy. But I never knew that the river uh, that runs the river there is, is, so is right there. You get the cars going by or the river. You the know what the name of the river is? Ah, uh, it's, uh, let me see, it's the uh, Axobaxo, Axobaxo. The Axobaxo River. Axobaxo Brook, yeah. Oh, okay, Brook, okay. Yeah. So you can you can sit out there by the picnic tables, you can listen to the water. It's a beautiful setting, and it, you dri if you drive past here, it's kind of on a main part of a the road, lots, road of, yeah. lots of traffic, but you'll, you're surprised when you just park your car and step out of your car and you mm -hmm. go sit at the picnic table and enjoy the beautiful nature you uh -huh. have like wind things out there and things that turn and and it's pretty yeah it's a pretty setting yes so um it's making right now my phone go to uh -huh. bring it to a table okay so i'm wondering if you can do the like the beginning like what you did like the address the phone number mm -hmm. and also like where we find you on social media because that's probably where you post a Google lot of your facebook yeah i put all your info i put a, all the stuff on facebook I don't have Instagram yet, but I can't put it on. That's okay. Just 
Facebook. Okay. So well, give us the commercial, yeah, where you so are, phone number, are, hours. Well, yeah. So, like I said again, our phone number is 860-892-8113. This is located in the city of Mazda, which is like five minutes away from the casino, Mohegan Sun. Yeah. It's on Route 163, the, the address is 266 Route 163 in Mazda. We are five minutes away from Pasco, I mean, um, Boeing Sun. 20 minutes away from Pasco. Um, yeah. And that's it, uh, Italian, Puerto Rican, and North American. And that's what we do. Question, do you have a, a favorite thing on the menu that you like to eat, or as a chef, like you're done cooking, you're tired after a whole day, what is the thing that you go to? What's your go to? <laughs> Even if it's not on the menu, okay? Uh, Do you have a go to? Simple something? It's simple stuff. It's, it, it, you uh, will be amazed of <laughs> what I really like. As I just sit down quick, I, I cook two eggs for me. Two eggs? Put on top of my, on, on, on my rice with beans. And sometimes I have some kibasa, uh, hot dog. <laughs> now, <laughs> that's one of those things that I always did when I was a little kid. We always had extra red wine for tea. We always had hot dogs for tea, And eggs and are eggs cheaper. Are cheap. Well, they used to be cheap. So it's now, yeah. I did chili the other day. Our chili is made with, I call it Texas chili with no beans. So No beans in your chili? No beans. Wait, so how do you do that? So people just, I, it, it, it is amazing. I do chili, or I make chili when I do have leftover sugar, like I oh. did. I got like two pieces of sugar. I have brisket. That's upscale chili. Yes, well, steak That's and ground beef. Oh my That's gosh. That's why you don't want to put beans in it. It's oh. just upscale chili. Oh. So a cup will, a, a bowl awesome. will cost you $8. A half a bowl will cost you 12 And a bowl will cost you, well, like this big, $20. But it's worth it. But it's Every and bite meat. is meat, meat, meat. Oh man, that sounds awesome. Yeah. So now I don't do regular chili. If you want a regular <laughs> chili, people can make regular chili, you know? If you want to make chili, you can make it at home. But I, I want something yeah. like, when I have some leftover take out, brisket, sugar, steak, whatever steak, I mix it up together with some seasoned ingredients. What a great idea. And people say this is the best chili ever. Great idea, yeah, yeah. They don't mind paying more because they know it's good quality. Well, you, you put, know? yeah, it's and meat. There's I no mean, beans in there, there's no juice. So beans are cheap. Meat. Yeah, beans are you know? So uh, that's uh, that's another thing about chili. Now, when it's getting cold enough, I have to make it more often. But to make it more often, I have to be serving sugar and get a deal like Asobuco, sugar grip yesterday, and brisket. When I have some leftover of that, then I make the chili. Mm. So nothing goes to waste. Nothing, basically. Goes, no, no, nothing goes away, and this is quality meat, so you get good points for it. Because actually, people say, why is this so cheap? Well, I don't want to give it to you for more expensive than that, mm -hmm. you know, because it really, really is all me. All you gotta do, every, every bite. That's awesome. It's all me. I would, I would put like a, you know, some of that in my scrambled eggs well, and make an omelet. Like this, I got that chili, like I said, I like the hot dog with it's so bad chili. Yeah. I put some white wine, put the chili on top with two eggs over easy. Oh, that's. Oh, that, and I was, right, I was in my glory. I'm hungry now. <laughs> this is what I get for skipping I was in my breakfast. world, you know. And then I, <laughs> the customer would come in and say, what are you eating? I said, you don't want to know what you want. That looks good. It's a chili with white wine. And so, two more we see extra. You, 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 you bet the joke is all over the rice. I want some of that. Now everybody wants, now it's a menu <laughs> item, right? Yeah. But you well, said if it's on your menu, you'll try I to. I used to serve it before. I call it a hangover place. The hangover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I eat so chili more often. But I, now the cold weather is coming. When I make more chili, I make that play. Mm. You know? And people just, they know what, they already know. Because that hangover play, I put french fries too. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I put rice, a little bit of french fries on top. Okay. The chili on top of the rice and yeah. brisket, and two eggs over easy on top of it. Oh, that could be like this uh, uh, Puerto Rican poutine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is great, yeah. And so, but we do it a little by little. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. What's been what's been your challenge? What are some of your challenges? Uh, the prices, the prices. Oh yeah, we uh, see that at the grocery store for prices, sure. Prices, uh, try to keep the customer happy and the quality of the food still there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it just again, 
the ups and downs of you have to reach when it's down like this you have to do cut the hours down and you have to work in the sun you know so far so good i cut the hours down but i went back that i went to the regular hours for the employees because i think it was a lot of chaos yeah because he has he has a couple of staff people here yeah. today cooking and helping right so when that doesn't happen the, the business is kind of you have to keep cut the hours down because your bills keep, keep accumulating and then you you know you have to balance it out mm -hmm. and i sit down and talk to the business people you know, i don't know why i do this but they understand eh, we don't mind taking some free time out a little bit better a little, little vacation huh? you know but it just hurts me a lot because mentally and physically i have to be here all the time because i have to be around everywhere traffic i have to go back at time go over and back set up for lunch now I have a whole year where they are not here and I'm going to carry out with them. They don't come six months off, so it's always doing what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Tell people what your hours were again. The hours are 11 to 8, 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then Saturday, Saturday we open at 12, instead of 11 to 8 p.m. You got hungry people out Some days are at the door. Here comes the, uh, the waitress. Okay, so it's open six days a week. Six 11, days a week, 11, 11 to 8, except for Saturday, we open at 12. And then close Mondays? Close, mo uh, no, close Sunday. Close Sunday, so yeah. you're open on Monday. Sunday, close Monday to Saturday. Okay. I used to close on, on Monday. Now it's, uh, it has been um, since March, back on Mondays. Good, because, you know, a lot of places close on Mondays. Yeah, a lot, that's why and, I And we're it. looking for places to eat, right? That's why I did it, you know. It was, it's still going up and down. People don't, some people don't know yet. They're still calling me because <laughs> Google still said that we are close because I can't change that. Oh, really? Yeah. I might like, be able to help you fix that. Yeah, I, will, I can't do it. I, I might, help you. I might oh, be able God. to help you with that. Yeah. Because um, <coughs> I tried to get to Google one time and it was a scam. They scammed me to yeah. find out. Yeah, I won't do it anymore. So tell yeah. us, tell people more about your menu because it is very extensive. It is extensive and because of the inflation and the economy and all I have to do it have stuff that I don't do that often, which is the frozen stuff. Mozzarella sticks, poppers, all that is frozen stuff that I want to eliminate. If I want to eliminate something, I do that, you know, because it's big. So I specialize in cooking great food. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So if I want to eliminate that, the grinders, we sell a lot of grinders. Sometimes we sell more than we, we you know, but I got to, I'm going to have to address the menu a little bit. Make it a little bit shorter. Uh -huh. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Big class, big salad. So you have Daddy's potato salad. You have the Donatello grinder. The Donatello grinder where did that? Name, where did the name come from? Where did the that Donatello is, used to be here first. It used to be Donatello. Oh, this was a restaurant. Kid. Yeah, oh. it was, was a deli. It? Oh, it was a deli. Okay. They were Italian deli, and then uh, my friend, when Kobe here, he closed it down, and I took it over. That's why you say with a twist. That's why with a twist. I get the Nutella and I do it with a little twist. With a twist, and what's a twist? I keep the origin and all the you know, American, mm -hmm. even Chinese, even Italian. I keep the People call me from uh, foreign people. I did the other day, I did a uh, Golomki. And then. Wait, you made. Make galompies? Galompies the other day, yeah. And really? Yeah. You asked, someone asked you to make, yeah, feels like I a, that's a special order. Pierogi, you know. Yeah. You make pierogi, pierogi but that's yeah. not on your menu, is it? No, it's a special, and I put up there, and I put on Facebook, and it flies oh. out here. Oh, my gosh. So now, when I get catering, they say, can you make galompies? Can you use pierogi? I said, it's anything you want. I don't have a menu yet. How did you learn how to do all that stuff? I'm working with the uh, great chefs at the casinos, and all the private So you used to work at the casino, restaurants. Mm -hmm. Mohegan and Fox Cook. So, chefs from all over the world, so I, I learned, I watch, I watch, I watch. So, uh, what do you think, is the mafungu almost ready? Yeah, it's ready. There, yeah, we need to get it out yeah. so people can see what it looks like. Cause Wait, mafungu's it? That's kind of like <laughs> calling for the mafungu to come <laughs> over here. Again, can you bring us that mafungu, please? Uh, <laughs> yes. So, if the store right now is just opening up, the restaurant's just opening up and people are turning signs, yeah. and uh, getting ready for the crush of the crowd, people who are hungry. So I want to make sure that you guys uh, who look at this and see this visually on YouTube, you'll be able to get an idea of what what Chef Jamie and yes, his 
come, come and check us out. You will be supported. We are natural juices. We do oh, yeah, that's right. You have passion juice. fruit, guava, mm -hmm. mango juices. And now I mix, um, I mix lemonade mm -hmm. with guava. Oh, lemonade and guava. That's SP. great. Mm -hmm. I can keep up with it. It's a lemon, no? That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, that so sounds awesome. And then you have uh, different desserts. Yeah, we already we touched on that before. We have the tiramisu, we have it. We don't have it today, but I can't keep up with it. Can't keep up. All right. I'm moving this stuff aside so that we can see this. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Thank you very much. This is the other one. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so tell us what's on this plate. I'm going to hold it up so that hopefully people can see it better. What's on the one that I'm holding? This is the uh, oh, that one. traditional, that one? Yeah. That's traditional. traditional rice with pig and pea, plantain. We always serve them with some a little bit of salad. You see the full pork that we call full it? Full pork, okay. And this? This is the, uh, the mofongo. This is with the... Oh, those legends. And the... Utensils. This is uh, the chocolate steak. I see that here. Sorry, go ahead. This is the pepper steak. Pepper steak. Okay. Um, so mofongo is what part of the meal there? Is, is, is uh, it this? Mofongo is a uh, plantain. Plantain. Green plantain. Cooked and smashed mm -hmm. with fresh olive oil, fresh garlic, um, butter, salt, pepper, and all the things that I cannot tell you. Okay, they're, they're secrets. Okay, yes. that's the. So this part is the mof this is the mofongo. This is the mofongo yes. So mofongo can be served with meat we, we or don't, any, any kind of anything. meat or by itself. Or by itself. We even we even the serve mofongo in a chicken broth. Okay. That is this is what we make for we number two. So this is you dip in here <coughs> and you just get it wet. This is the best. This is the best salad here. It's the um, mofongo with pepper steak. So those of you who can see um, what we're doing, we are eating. That's why things got a little quiet. Mm -hmm. You take the crunchiness, mm -hmm. put the mofongo, mm -hmm. and the sauce. A lot of people don't know how to make it. Mm -hmm. They don't make it crunchy, or they make it too dry. Crunchy, chewy. Mm -hmm. Creamy. <coughs> the flavors, I don't know what they are, but wow. Hey, why are you moving the plate? To you. It should be over by me here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try the meat too. Um, also, your lovely waitress or whatever has brought out a empanada. So you guys can see that. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful food. I, I am looking forward to trying more. I'm afraid I'm going to be out of time, so I'm going to check my clock here. I'm going to have this. I have time for this. Tell us one more time name, address. It's um, Lucy Donatello with a twist. We serve Puerto Rican, Italian, and all American food. We are located in uh, Route uh, 163. So the address is 266 Route 163 in Mandra. We are like five minutes away from the casino. And maybe it could be like half hour, mm. 45 minutes. About 25, 30 45 minutes, minutes from Willamantic, yeah. where we're based. Yeah. Which is right there, five minutes away. You're all going to five, ten minutes away. We, got, uh, we are, I, I call Mavio the, the middle of everything. Like, Long Beach is right there. The Long Beach is right mm -hmm. there. Waterford. Mm -hmm. Coach is right there. Fifteen minutes away. You know? So i got to wind this down. And you're not supposed to talk with your mouth full because <laughs> there's bad manners, but <laughs> I'm not going to hurry because <laughs> this is not fast food. No. I think this is food that's meant to be savored. Yeah. And enjoy. And you can get that so quick so fast because mm -hmm. this is somewhere here. It's already on the buffet table. You see, people sometimes, like for lunch, they don't have, they don't even have half hour break, even an hour break. So they want to come in. That's you why, get good food. you know, yeah. you can get great food mm -hmm. at a great price and come, come and go. I in and out quick. You want to sit down? You want to wait good? <laughs> but when you are only have half an hour, you want to rush. Yeah. Like I do sometimes. I want to get some good food. Well, I'm going to wait half hour, you know? Well, I'm going to eat some more of this, and I have to sign off. So this is Ruth Hartuni and Alan Baugh, otherwise known as R Ravings and Cravings. Shout out to Elm Package Store for being the sponsor of this program. Thank you to, okay, I'll put my fork down. Thank you, Chef Jamie, Jamie, for your hospitality. Really appreciate it, Chef Jake. 
Ruth Artini now about signing off on Ravings and Cravings on Good Company.